Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So I uh, ran out to Yankee real quick today. Uh, I didn't go on the Saturday when they had all the the big party where they introduce all the new Halloween candles and, and merchandise and that. I was at a wedding and um, so I zipped out real quick today. I had to go to some brunch post wedding brunch or something. So I ran out real quick today. Um, so I did get uh, the three of the Halloween Yankee candles. I had a buy one get one free um, coupon. That, well, it's buy one get one, buy two get two, buy three get three free coupon anyhow. Um, so uh, yeah, I did get the three and then I got an elevation candle. They did have their bony bunch out. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the bony bunch um, decor. I do have a few pieces but um, I can do without. Um, and the other pieces, they were okay, but I just didn't see anything that really uh, grabbed my attention. So I had to go to HomeSense to get the girls some new balls and toys and that. So uh, I ended up getting a Halloween hurricane. So I was just kind of looking at my stash, seeing how many ha Yankee Halloween candles I had left. I do have a Forbidden Apple, the medium jar with the that bright green wax in the green apple. I just don't know where it is. It's somewhere. I just didn't have a chance to have a good look, but it's somewhere. I do have one Happy Halloween left, and this is a black licorice scent. I finished my other one last Halloween, and then I have two of these I really want to use up this year. Because, um, they're both poured in 2014, so it's about time I use them up. So this is Witch's Brew, which is a very classic, perfect Halloween scent. Um, it's about halfway done, and then this one's almost done. I'm going to use this up. This is Ghostly Treats, and this really looks nice when it's lighted up. Um, kind of like a vanilla, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla sweet candy. Um, so I'm going to use those up this year. So anyway, uh, so I did pick up the, oops, I'll just start with this one, the Haunted Hayride. That's one I was most curious about. So it's got the purple wax and it's got this amazing label, except it's too skinny. It should be this big. Uh, it's, it's such a great label. I don't know why. It just doesn't have much impact when it's that narrow, but kind of reminds me of uh, Johnny Depp's version of Sleepy Hollow um, when he's going through the, the woods and that. It's just the perfect atmosphere, that movie. And this one's very hard to describe. I asked for the scent notes and they rhymed off about nine different notes. There was like charcoal, um, pepper, orange zest, some musky something or other. Like it was just this long list that just, con all it does is confuse me. Um, when I first smelled it, I thought it was kind of a musky berry, fall berry scent. I don't, it actually is kind of light on cold. So that's why it's kind of hard to describe because it's, if it was a bit stronger on cold, I would get a better feel for it. There is a muskiness to it, um, like a, a musky earthiness to it. I get berries, but I don't think she mentioned any berries in there. But yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't call it cloney. When I, I scratched the little invitation, they had a little scratch and smell. I thought it was cloney, but I don't think I'm getting it. But yeah, I get a musky earthy kind of berry scent. So, um, just kind of hard to describe. And then I did get Witch's Brew. And again, the label's kind of dark and narrow, but there is, it is a crow though. And it looks like it's, um, there's like a witch's cauldron with this green stuff bubbling out of it. But again, it would have much more impact if it, that label was bigger. So yeah, this is the classic Witch's Brew. It is such a perfect uh, Halloween scent. It smells like a musky, dank basement <laughs> uh, with dead bodies in it. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's a clean smell, though, at the same time, if that makes any sense. But anyway, um, if you smell Witch's Brew, you know what it smells like. But yeah, it's 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 a perfect Halloween kind of uh, scent. And then I did get Trick or Treat. So this is a, a pumpkin scent. It's a very earthy pumpkin scent. I also get... Um, some of those uh, fall spices like the uh, 
I smell like the, the clove and um, nutmeg. But yeah, it's a very earthy kind of um, pumpkin scent. And then I did get an elevation candle. Uh, I couldn't decide between the apple amaretto and the ginger pumpkin because they're both really, really good uh, scents. But I did decide to go for the uh, ginger, another ginger pumpkin. And this smells almost exactly like the ginger, pumpkin ginger bark candle that they had. And it's just so, so rich. Oh. I can smell those spices, like the nutmeg and the clove. I can smell that spicy ginger mixed in with that earthy pumpkin. Such a good scent. And then they did have their tea lights on for half price, so I did get Haunted Hay Rye with like the dark purple kind of wax. And then uh, I did stop by uh, Home Sense, like, like I said, to get some of the, the puppies some new toys. And uh, I noticed this um, hurricane and it was in the silver uh, mercury glass. Uh, so when uh, it does light up inside, you can see the light coming through these little tiny spots of the mercury glass. And then they had this, it's so shiny, they had this um, kind of like a, the 3D effect with the spider web and the, and the spiders on it. So um, it's a, a great size. It's going to look really neat when it's... Um, all lit up for Halloween. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of tea light holders from Yankee. They're old traditional Halloween ones and that. So I really didn't feel like I really needed um, any more accessories, but I don't have a big hurricane like this for the Halloween. So um, I thought I'd grab that. So anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. Everyone take care and we'll see you soon.